Hey, what's going on guys? It's Buddy here from Goober and Buddy Inc. And today we're going to be doing an explain video about Ethernet versus Wi-Fi. Yep, we're testing the speed today and we're seeing what the benefits of each are. And in this video we'll be using our good old Ethernet cable. And I just picked one of these bad boys up at Best Buy for my Chromebook that we'll be using with this speed test. It's called the J5 Create and we'll be plugging the USB into the 3.0 slot on the Chromebook Dell 11 and the Ethernet port is right there. So first up we'll be doing the Wi-Fi not the Ethernet and so let's get started right now, okay, so we are going to an internet speed website and it will test our speed right now. So let's see how it goes. Now, the benefits of using Wi Fi, which we're doing right now, is portability. So you can take it anywhere where the Wi Fi reaches, so it's very good, so you don't have to sit connected to an ethernet cable on near your modem or near your router. And so it looks like we get about 12.9 megabits download and 1.1 megabits upload. And so the download speed is pretty good. It's pretty good. You'll you won't really notice a difference when web browsing with that. It does Wi-Fi does fluctuate though. So over a longer distance you'll notice slower speeds and it might even drop off sometimes and the upload speed is only very important if you're uploading files to like YouTube or media sites that will matter a lot and this will also fluctuate depending on who you have your internet with this is our Time Warner cable internet and so it'll just depend on what you pay for as well the more the higher the speed the better it is, I guess, unless you're just doing basic web browsing, not really intensive tasks like video editing. So now let's get started into the Ethernet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug this Ethernet port. I have this, the other end of this hooked up to my router, and I'm going to plug this into this, the JR5 the J5 create Ethernet to USB and then I'm gonna plug this into the side of the Chromebook so we will have the high-speed internet hopefully of the in the reliability of the Ethernet so let's zoom in here and go over to here and hit Ethernet. Okay, we're connected. So now let's go to the website to test our speed. And let's start testing our speed. So the Ethernet usually will get more reliability. It won't fluctuate with the speed. As you can see right now, the speed isn't, it just keeps going up and there's no drop-offs or fluctuations with the speed. It's a little bit faster, 13.9 compared to like 12.1 I think we had before. So you will get a little bit faster speed and the upload even is faster by about 0.1. So overall, not too big of a difference with the speed increase, but it does make up for that in the reliability so if you did want to upload or download large files it is better to do it with the Ethernet that being said Ethernet is very useful for when you're doing large files and stuff through other for through laptops or stuff like that so you'd want to use that then but Wi-Fi usually can get the job done most of the time so the main reason to use Ethernet, reliability, and it doesn't fluctuate. And if you want a little bit of a speed increase, 
But other than that, guys, there's not too much of a difference between Wi-Fi and Ethernet. It's just one, one you, it's checks and balances kind of thing, it, or it's a pros and cons kind of thing. One of them, you go up with speed, but down with portability. The other one, you go up the get down with speed but up with portability it's all relative to what you need to be done that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about ethernet versus wi-fi i'll see you in the next video